crafters, this is Cassie, aka The Crafting Chef, bringing you another tutorial on behalf of Sub This and That Monthly Sublimation Box. For today's tutorial, I'm working from our August 2022 box titled, Take Back Your Office. In today's tutorial, I will be sublimating this MDF multifunction phone holder. This is so unique. It's definitely a sublimation item that I have not seen before. Um, it has, and I'm using my phone, guys, so I can't place my phone on it, but your phone would sit here. And what this allows you for is when you're charging your phone, so your cord will go through here and you'll have your phone um, plugged up. You can also use it for your charging your smart watches so you would place your watch there you again have it coming out of the the plug depending on how your um, charger is made you can also use this in for keys you also have this in where you can put um, writing utensils in um, I don't have a pencil nearby but I couldn't get um, one of my pens is too fat that I had handy so I couldn't get a pen in there but because um, it needs to go down a little further, but pens, pencils, that kind of thing you could stick there. Um, so it is multi-purpose. You can use it at your desk, um, at home. You can use it in the kitchen, wherever you like to charge um, some of your smaller wireless devices and still use them. I could actually probably um, put my iPad on there, um, especially if you have a mini iPad. But at any rate, we're going to go ahead and sublimate this today. I'm making this for my daughter who is away at college. So I'm going to put her school's logo on the top and bottom of this. The first thing you want to do is you want to make sure you remove the plastic film that is covering the board. Most MDF products are protected by this um, light film. You'll see on some products it may actually be blue, but on a lot of sublimation products I've had, it's been clear. So you wanna remove this from both sides. Or both pieces, excuse me. And I think I actually already took it off of this side. Yeah, I did. So I'm gonna take this over to my heat press and I'm going to pre-press this for about five to 10 seconds. So I'll let it cool off just a bit and I'm gonna go ahead and tape it down. And then we'll take it over to the heat press. The template, if you are a VIP member, you will find this on our um, VIP Google Drive. Um, that drive is going away at the end of this month, but these templates will be available on our website soon. So I'm going to go ahead and place this and tape it down. I'm going to slide this way, guys, because there's a the center part of my table it's a folding table so there's a hump there so let's uh let's move the camera over so you guys can see there we go are large enough to fit together on my 15 by 15 inch heat press machine so I'll press them at the same time and I'm going to press them at 380 degrees for 45 to 60 seconds on a light pressure so I've taken it off of the heat press um, it is very hot so be careful and also be aware that MDF Products give off a slight odor when heated. And um, according to my family, it's not the most pleasant smell in the world either. <laughs> but there it is. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. It's so cute. 
And I'm gonna let that cool just a few seconds and then we'll reassemble the, um, the multi-function phone holder. Okay, so we will go ahead and assemble. You have your two pieces here and I do apologize for the glare of the ring light. And these are the two pieces, so here and here that go together. And they just slide right on there. And lock into place. There we go. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.